And we are live. Welcome, everybody, to Ask a Wizard. We're going to be doing our stream today on the interpretation of dreams by Sigmund Freud. I've actually broken this down into what I call a dream hierarchy. Um, I'm not sure. I haven't seen any research on it. Uh, Freud doesn't touch on it, and I haven't been able to find any peer-reviewed research on it but I call it the dream hierarchy theory. Um, this is the concept that there is a segmentation between dreams and between humans and animals. Animals are capable of experiencing these uh, lower level dreams, so the internal organic ones to provide information about their health, as well as experiencing external and internal, external being for perceiving around you so you're safe while you sleep, and then internal subjective being the um, obviously the, the biologically caused hallucinations of the eyes and whatnot. The higher level thoughts being psychically excited stimuli, it, the necessary element for those dreams to occur is the um, separated consciousness that Freud discusses. In the dream, consciousness is um, turned off, therefore consciousness not being engaged during the subconscious. However, we're still able to perceive what's occurring and to perceive we have to be conscious on some level and obviously the uh, Christian answer is it's the soul, but they can't say that. But it seems that you have to have that element that whatever that removed element is, whether you want to call it the soul or not, to perceive outside of consciousness itself, uh, to be able to experience psychic phenomenon of a dream, rather than just impulse reacting to stimuli outside of it. So to be able to observe stimuli within a stimuli, it's almost like meta stimuli. And then, of course, the uh, archetypical prophetic and divine dreams that occur logically only work with a human because you need a soul. As simple as that. I think that you, it helps with understanding. It's like, well, why does an animal seem to have dreams, but you know, an animal never is debating whether or not it's had one too many Twinkies. Like it's, it's like, ah, maybe I need to go on a diet. Dogs don't think that, so it's that element of what makes man man is not there and so there should be a differentiation between the animal and the uh, human it's just a theory i'm throwing out there and i think that's it everybody well thank you very much for tuning in go ahead and do the thing do the thing <laughs> apply at askwizardmagic.com forward slash book club thank you for joining thank you very much for tuning in and have a nice day bye